tips and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some really awesome glitter glue with no glitter and like a little bit of glitter. So you can use any glue. I pre-did mine because it took a long time to get out of the bottle. So you could use the school pourable glue or you can take um, some I can't find the glue, but you can take a small, uh, oh my god, okay, um, the stick glue, and put it in a, a jar or something that's not too much, and put it in the grip, like, the micro for, like, 30, 40 seconds, and actually melt it, but you have to be really quick before it dries into, like, the It's a little more messy, but you need, like, a, like a paste, so it'd probably be good if you get Screw glue and mine, it's already mixed it in there because it's already de glued. And I already put the glue in there because it took forever. And I put like this stuff in there and it kind of made it blue. But it's like I like my glue to really smell good because, like, if it's on something that like is on me or something, I want it to smell good. And I don't really like the smell of regular glitter glue, so yeah. Um, let's get started. So, I'm going to face this. Okay, I'm going to fix it. So, I'm going to kind of. Sorry, that's the key. I'm going to kind of hit it. Face it up here. Let's see. There. there. So, now you can see just a little bit better. You can't quite see the bottom. I'll kind of face it down a little bit. So I'm just kind of mixing it in a little more. And like what I put for the smelly stuff, I just put like a little bit of um, like soap in it. But you could use like Febreze and like spray it in there at the end. So what I'm gonna be doing is um, I'm gonna take for texture, I'm taking a little bit of baby powder and I totally don't even want that much. So I'm taking just the lid to my jar. Just the lid to my jar. And we literally only put like Instead of using like tons of blue for it. And so I know Christmas just got over, so that's how I got this idea. And you know the little boa things like like this how I'll show you like the one of them. I've got like this stuff that goes around the Christmas tree, like that big long strip of things. So I created a card that I just kind of pulled apart because we don't really use them. We got new ones this year. So um yeah. And I really don't like this texture, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Just like literally, you don't even want to add that much. So, um, now, oh, this is another texture. So, um, what I'm going to be doing now is adding just a little bit of our colors. And I just cut these real fine because you could have big ones. Like, this is what my other one turned out to be. And it was really big. And it, like, kind of, like, turned out really bad, but literally there's barely any meat about it so it's just like you're just like pulling glue out so um yeah so i'm gonna add the blue for or no the silver first just a little bit so sorry that's kind of stuck between my nails it's not about that much silver there's a little bit different colors in there too so. Supposed to be silver, and it's not ever going to turn out perfectly unless you're like master. Um, I really haven't been able to even turn it out perfectly, so you need water. I just try not to use water. There's soap in here. It's gonna make mine's gonna make a little bit of bubbles. And if you're like really good at mixing, your glue will make bubbles. So 
get a little more bubbles in there. So now I'm going to add a little bit more of my silver. Or no, I'm going to do a different color because you don't want to use all of it. I got some red, put some red there. Because I added water, you want the texture, and instead of using more blue, I'm going to use blue. Okay. That's why I said only add a little bit at first, because we haven't added the water yet. And you don't want to put too much because you actually make goop out of baby powder and water. That's why this is such a hard recipe, because you don't quite know exactly how much to put. That's what I'll take. I'm going to put some of my glitter at the bottom. I'm going to add some pink and some blue. I really want the blue in there. I want all the blue in there. And all my silver in there, because those are the best colors you can have. So there's silver. Ooh, just put them in there. Oh, I didn't even see it. Oh, I didn't even see it. I couldn't quite see it. And how much to put in them, I'll actually put down in the description. Or as I'm making, I'll talk about it. Oh, it depends. So, actually, no, let me think. Is it, for like a small mason jar like this, with the, if you have glue like this, you just want to squirt it until it, like, a little bit, like, it covers most, like, 75% of the jar bottom. So, if you have something you can fill it, like, 75% full. Like the uh, bottom, like, like, I don't know how to explain it. So, like, if you have a mason jar, you want to fill it about 75%. So, like, you don't really want to fill it, like, all the way up here, 75%. You want, like, just the bottom of the 75%, so, like, a little over half of the bottom. So, we add a little bit more baby powder. Just, you want to make sure you don't get the wrong texture. I've just made it so many times, I don't have any puffs to put in. And that's kind of how I kind of organize it by puffs like you know like one two like the squirts like the squeeze of your hand and you have just successfully made glitter dough so it looks your glue I said it wrong sorry um you can take your cap put it on I like the jaws tighten it real good and just shake it up And then an inexpensive paintbrush that so you don't mind ruining with the glue or whatever. Just kind of dip them in kind of straight around. And every time you do use it, you have to do it straight. So I'm just going to paint this and I'm going to show you what it looks like. If you do smaller pieces, you can get more in there. And I actually don't like how much is in there, so I'm going to add the other two of my colors to the rest of them. And I actually made less than I thought it was going to take. And then, I mean, because mine I don't want it too consistent, but I don't want it too, like, you know. So I'm going to repaint it. Get some on my brush. I think I'm going to get some. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of put it down. Down to the paper. Oh, the board. So if you have like a small cup, you want to make sure that that cup is pretty big. So. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this really well, but so on this side was before I added the rest of it, and on this side was when I added the rest of it. And you see the difference, and you can't see really anything behind you, except for my bubbles. 